Now on this trip, this was gonna be one of the most difficult physical hunts that I had ever done. I wanted to get to the South Island and to hunt tar. I wanted the challenge, no choppers, going all on foot, going up 2,500, 3,000 feet a day on foot and getting to where these tar live. It's cold, it's wet, it's slippery, it's dangerous up here. We've done everything we can and there's no question, bow hunting tar, it is not easy. Look at him. We spotted an absolute monster tar looking over the edge. You hit him high on that shoulder, he'll come down. And he said, you need to make a good shot. We all have those bucket list hunts that we dream about doing. And for me, one of those hunts, well that is going to New Zealand. And I've had the privilege to go there in the past and we have had some incredible experiences. I've been able to hunt red stag on the North Island on numerous different occasions and it's truly been unbelievable. The people, the land, the sights, it's incredible. But the one thing I never had the chance to do is visit the South Island. Well, that was one of my goals. I wanted to get to the South Island and to hunt tar. So the South Island is unique even within New Zealand because it has a big backbone of mountains right down the full length of the South Island. The mountain range is called the Southern Alps, obviously named after the Alps of Switzerland. And there's a lot of similarities, it's very steep, relatively tall considering such a small island and we're starting at the coast at the sea level so so they come up very steeply. Many people when they go after tar they're going to be going after them out of a helicopter because they live in some of the most difficult locations that you could possibly think of. In fact some of the locations are simply not accessible. Well I thought perfect what a great challenge so I signed up at SCI with Zion Pilgrim from Wilderness Quest New Zealand and we were going to be hunting tar on the South Island. Okay. okay, so one of the most popular hunts in New Zealand is for the Himalayan tar. These tar originated out of Nepal, so they just love the mountains here. They love the steep, nasty terrain. They're, they're mountain goats, so they're extremely agile and, and they just they, where they choose to live is, is amazing. It's, it's pretty spectacular to watch the way they can move around the cliffs and the bluffs and all of that. So that's all well and great until we decide to go chase them up there. That's when it gets challenging. Upon arriving, Zion met us and we started driving and we were seeing some of the most beautiful views I have ever seen. As we came to the area we were going to be tar hunting, the water was so blue, it looked more blue than any ocean I'd ever been to. And I thought, we are in paradise. Now on this trip, I knew it was going to be a challenge. This was going to be one of the most difficult physical hunts that I had ever done. And when I booked it, that's all I wanted. I wanted the challenge. No choppers, going all on foot, going up 2,500, 3,000 feet a day on foot and getting to where these tar live. Yeah, that's a, that's a German oil. That's a big top one, yeah. Well, one little thing that I didn't know was going to happen. I was seven months pregnant on this trip. Good looking, hun. 
see the one to the left. You can see them just right. Now, this was something that I didn't want the guide to know. I didn't want anybody to really be trying to make this hunt easier for me. I was in great physical condition. The doctor said it'd be no big deal. So I went on this hunt, and yes, it was going to be the most physically challenging hunt I've ever done. And I was seven months pregnant. Not quite count growth rings from here. So Ben and I were on the trip, and he was there to help, to try to film, to do things, and be right by my side. And the best part is, Ben was going to be hunting red stag as soon as we finished my talk. Well, we just got to New Zealand and I am so excited. We shot our bow, everything is spot on. We're here with Zion Pilgrim with Wilderness Quest of New Zealand. And we're on the South Island, beautiful all around us. The tar should be just an awesome hunt. We're way up high. We're actually in a shepherd's cabin. And we're going to go after the tar with a bow. It should be a great trip. Cannot wait. And we're going to go get after it right off the bat this afternoon. Well, we still got quite a bit of fog right now, but the good news is we know that there was a real nice one there that we saw yesterday. So we took the drone, put it up, and it looks like it's going to be cleared off pretty soon, so we're going to just start heading up is what you're thinking? Yeah, yeah. it's a good day. It's going to clear real soon, so we're just going to get up the hill and go from there. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Closed captioning provided by DSG Outerwear. Doing something great for women in the outdoors by outfitting with the ultimate in fit, function, warmth, and comfort in women's hunting gear. Designed specifically for women by women. Outfitting every season from sizes extra small to 5XL. Visit DSGOuterwear.com to locate a retailer near you. This segment was brought to you by Sportsman's Alliance. Our heritage, our fight. Protecting hunting from coast to coast. Did you know that Montana adopted hunter harassment laws in 1986, becoming one of the first states in the country for protecting sportsmen from anti-hunters out in the field? All the states in the U.S. have the hunter harassment laws, but the majority are using the language developed by the USSA. Just another fun fact showing how sportsmen and women are making a difference. Well, we started at the bottom, we're coming up towards the top. We're still in a big cloud layer. We can't see real well, but we know this is where the tar were. So we got here, we've just been taking it nice and easy. It is straight up and down here. So we're gonna keep just going up to the top. Hopefully by the time we get to where the tar are, all this lifts off. If not, we're already there. We sit and wait. It's easy to go side to side, way better than going up and down. So doing the hard part now, and hopefully we'll get some rewards there. And you see them on these hillsides and you think, they're up pretty high, but you have no idea how steep the terrain is until you start going after it. Now, not only does the fog make it deceiving as to how high you're getting, but it also had very dewy grass, slippery conditions, and when I'm talking steep, I'm talking straight up and down. Most of the time we were on our hands and knees crawling and all I could think of is, I don't know about this. I'm not so sure this is such a good idea. Well, we went all the way up there and we saw some nice tar, but not the big mature bull tar that we were looking for. And it was unbelievable. Being at the top up there and seeing where we had come from the bottom, you could hardly believe it. We can't see more than 30 yards right now. Cannot see the bottom. It's cold, it's wet, it's slippery, it's dangerous up here. We've done everything we can and there's no question, bull hunting tar, it is not easy. That's the way it goes sometimes. And you know what? It was half the battle, just getting there, doing it. And uh, when we decided to scale back down, I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna march all the way up to this top in these steep conditions again. It's just too dangerous. But what do you think we should do? Um, I think with, with everything we've got, we'll, we'll head back down okay. and um, look at options from there. But with the forecast and everything, we're probably best to um, just keep hunting. It's a good thing about the South Island. We've got stuff all over to go. Yeah. The weather doesn't want to cooperate. We'll go to plan B, then yeah. C, then D, and we'll get, get it figured else. out. Yeah. <laughs> no. keep on. So Zion and I talked about that. If I switched to a rifle, we could actually hunt these creek beds that have more of a gradual incline all the way up. And a lot of times you're going to be able to see those tar on the ledges. For this hunt, which is prime rut, uh, mid, mid to late May, we're, we're hunting them, they're up high, the bulls are very high, they're with the nanny groups, 
and and so that's that's going to be the hardest time of the whole season as far as the challenge of getting into where the animals are. Really it's what each person wants to do like we started this this hunt as an archery hunt for tar and you know we, we got in amongst them but there's there's just so many factors of that have to be in order to be successful with an archery hunt. For rifle hunting it's, it's still a challenging hunt for rifle especially if you want to get close a lot of guys shoot long range and you've still got to get close at some point either before or after you shoot it so so it really depends on what each hunter wants to do um, but but we've very good options on, on all of those. I'm going to make the switch. We're going to test out the rifle, make sure everything is on. I was going to be shooting a Model 70 Winchester 300 Win Mag. And I thought, you know what? We're going to try this route and see how it goes. Oh, where he shot? Just a little more to the left. OK, this elevation's good. It is amazing how much the weather can change. Today we have an absolutely beautiful day. We've got a little fog behind us, but you can already see the face of these mountains. It's just gorgeous out here. Um, but he's a, he's a very good bull. This segment was brought to you by Boss Buck. For the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market, choose Boss Buck Feeders. Now you're getting serious. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Hard-Hitting Eastern Arrows Golden Triangle Whitetail Winchester, the American Legend National Deer Alliance HHA Sports, the leader in single pin technology Scent Killer Gold with Hunt Dry Technology Plus Apply it, dry it, and go hunt Rage Broadheads, leading the evolution in lethal technology Convergent Hunting Solutions, where experience, innovation, and passion meet. Spy Point Trail Cameras. Sportsman's Alliance, protecting hunting from coast to coast. Engel Coolers, the original high-performance cooler company. And Moose Utility Division, your leader in ATV, UTV accessories. So, so what we're looking for in a bull tower was, was one age, and then there's a couple of identifying things about the bull we wanted. So on the front of the horn, when the, when the age rings are all stacked up in the base, you know it's an old bull. And then, then the other thing you're looking for is the way that horn hooks in. So through a spotting scope, you can really see the maturity and the quality of the bull before you decide to stalk it or chase it or whatever. Well, we've been spending most of our time this morning looking at these big sides of these faces. Some of them are, I mean, we've seen a lot. They're just way beyond what you could ever reach. Because there's a creek in the back here, and we're just going to walk up that. Patty said there's a lot of animals that'll come down in that area, a lot more stockable. Should be really good, but it's going to be right back in there. These tar live in some rough conditions. They're beautiful out here, but we're going to see if we can't find one in the creek and go after it that way. Now, to me, it was a lot nicer not going on your hands and knees straight up and down like we did the first day, but you're doing a lot of walking when you're doing a gradual incline. So we knew that we're gonna get after it, we're gonna just take our time, and when you turn around and you see back to the sea and you see all that country and everywhere you've climbed, it truly is breathtaking. There literally is no prettier place that I've ever been, in my opinion, than where we were hunting after these tar. Might have to. We spotted an absolute monster tar looking over the edge. And Patty, you could just see it in his face. This is a yeah. giant. He's got a good height, yeah, good span. Yeah, I can shoot him, but... Okay, there he's going right yeah, there. He's coming down. He's just going off that yeah. back side. He's moving down. I don't see him anymore. I'm going to get ready in case he pops back out. The trouble is, can we get to him? And so we're literally scanning the area, trying to decide if it's even physically capable to get to him once we make the shot. Do you guys see him? He's standing at Skyline. Well, what do you think? Is that a better spot? 
it's a much better spot. Okay, it's no. still going to be tough to recover, but he's too good a ball just to leave. Patty said, we can get to him, take the shot. Right, you take him when you're ready. I just had a sense of relief. Like, it's, I can't believe it. This tar has stayed there while we're determining all this. So you hit him high on that shoulder, and he'll come down. Just take him when you're ready. And he said, you need to make a good shot. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Winchester, the American legend. Matthews Archery. DSG Outerwear, doing something great. Fleet Farm, built for real life. Silent Legion Suppressors, embrace the silence. Everly Stock, go in light, come out heavy. Reinhardt, the best archery targets in the world. Garmin, enhance your outdoor adventures. Winchester, the American legend. Bino Dock, what a cup holder should be. Safari Club International, first for hunters. Redneck Blinds, the best hunting blinds on the planet. Waterhole, create water sources that attract and hold wildlife. And Boss Buck, for the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market. Now you're getting serious. This segment is brought to you by Safari Club International. First for hunters. Show your hunter pride by joining today at safariclub.org. And I made a perfect shot on this tar. And he kind of bound, went around the edge. So we picked up our stuff, went flying around the other side, running, trying to see exactly where he's going. And he started falling. Here he comes. Here he comes. There he's coming. Still falling. Can't see him. See the rocks right falling? Right here. The rocks are falling. Yeah, I see him. My tar was coming down the side. He's stuck in a bush at that rock face. And amazingly, Patty decided to go up there, scaled that whole thing, got within probably 15 feet of him, and cannot reach him. There's no safe way to get to him. We even flew the drone up, tried to see if we could see if there was anything that he was hanging on. It was already a little bit sketchy sending Patty up, but he thought he could maybe try. So we shot at the branch, nothing. We shot the whole box of shells, trying to see if we can make him fall down, and he is stuck. So unfortunately, there's nothing else we can safely do here. So right now, we're just gonna have to back out of here. That's the hard part about New Zealand. That's the hard part of tar hunting. This country is so difficult. Made a great shot, but now it's just a matter of whether we can get him or not. Yeah, so um, Melissa made a, a, an exceptional shot, just straight in the shoulder. You saw the way the ball responded to that. He came downhill as we thought. He made it through most of the bluffs, down where we thought he would go, and then and then he, he toppled and fell and, and just hung up, right, probably in about the worst place he could have, um, just right before the bottom. It was so close, yet so far. <laughs> Okay, so, so when I first looked at that bluff system, I, you know, it, it looked pretty straightforward. I, I thought, okay, done worse than that. Not that that means enough, but um, it was still, it, it wasn't that easy. Like we had to, we had to climb up a, a rock slide to begin with, which was steep and, and tricky. And then, and then we had to work into a bluff system to get there. So initially I went in underneath the ball where, where Patty had, had gone and, and I got within five feet, five feet of the ball by just, by just climbing up some of the bluff. And then I, I got to a point where I really didn't want to go further. I wanted to look at other options. Um, no animals worth losing your skin over. So, so then we circled round and, and I went up about parallel, slightly above the ball. And I saw just one little, little tar trail going in there. And, um, and I was able to get up that rock face and, and drop in above him. Well, this is awesome. It finally worked out. We just got the bull down. Zion climbed up. He went under him, then he went over him. I have no idea how he got in there. He's like a little spider monkey, but he got the bull down and it came falling down. Now they're just in the bushes and they got him out again. Hate it that I can't go up, but I am no mountain climber compared to them. So they did an awesome job between Zion and Patty. 
phenomenal. We got this bolt. I think it's a monster, but I'm just so, so relieved to be able to recover it and cannot wait to get my hands on it. Well, thank you so much. We're out here in the South Island of New Zealand. It has been such an incredible adventure. It's amazing. We're here with Wilderness Quest New Zealand, and this is the kind of animals that you get a chance at. It's not every day you get something like this, but when you can get in this kind of country and make it happen, it truly is a dream come true. Good job. <laughs> and it was an incredible experience for me, for Ben, for Zion. We just had such a great place to hunt, so many memories, and the sights, they truly are breathtaking. I'm not sure there's any more beautiful place than New Zealand in the world, especially the South Island. See how big he goes. And when we put a tape on that tar, well, it ended up being the biggest tar of the entire year. 14-1, you've got to wow. be kidding me. <laughs> that, that is, is a... amazing. Shot. And then at the end of the trip, I said, hey, Zion, by the way, yeah, I'm seven months pregnant. And um, well, <laughs> he, he was a little surprised, but um, he was proud. And you know what? I'm so happy everything worked out. Ben and I got to experience this together. And uh, someday, Jax can look back and think, wow, I got to go on a tar hunt at a very young age. <laughs> Closed captioning is brought to you by Spy Point Trail Cameras. Stunning picture quality combined with leading cellular technology will keep you instantly in the loop right from your phone.